Hi everyone, it is Jillian. Welcome to Beautiful Self uh, Beauty Break. We are so excited to have you here today. I wanna to thank you so much for all the love that you gave us for our last show when we did neutral lipsticks. I really appreciate your commentary and all the love and support that you give me and of course our organization. We are here today again at the Beautiful Self offices and for those of you who don't know what Beautiful Self is before we get started, BeautifulSelf.org was started by uh, myself and my dear friend Michelle Bonacourt and we are dedicated to making a lot uh, a difference in the lives of women who are um, affected by breast cancer and its treatments. You know, long after treatment, we um, seem to forget that we are still here, still beautiful, and we lose our confidence in a lot of cases. And at Beautiful Self, we try to help you get that back. So if you could like us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, I am, and give us a like and a follow. I'm also Jillian V. Rezzo Artistry on um I'm just going to roll with that because my stuff is falling. I am Jillian V. Rezzo Artistry on Instagram. And what I want to talk to you today about is red lips. Now, you guys know who know me. I rarely wear red lips. But right now, everything is red lips. Red lips, red accessories, red shoes, red dresses. Everything is red. So you know what? We need to do a show about red. So let's get right into it. First of all, if you want to look great in a red, there's a few things you have to remember. You need to keep that skin looking flawless. You need to keep that skin looking soft. It should not be too shiny. It should not have high, high, high shine. It should not be too powdered because then you're going to look like a caricature and one is going to look just way, you know, you can't mix that high shine that you see more on Instagram and things like that with a red lip because it does look for every day a little too much. I wanna to talk today about just getting a beautiful, elegant, sophisticated look. So, how do we wanna do that? We wanna keep, like I said, that skin, maybe just a little bit of a soft glow, a little bit of a tiny bit of a, of a warmth or a bronze kick to it. How I would do that is I would add a little bit of bronzer to it. Today on my own skin, you'll notice, I normally have a lot, sorry for my glass marks, I normally have a lot of high shine on my skin, but I'm wearing a red. So I don't want to go that route. I want it to be sophisticated, elegant. So I use, there's a few things I use. What you could do that'd be beautiful, take a little bit of a liquid bronzer if you have it and mix it into your foundation. Just, that's what I did today. I did it with, I love Volition. You guys have heard me talk about this a million times. This is their Tanaka bronzer. It's gorgeous. It just, it's a multitasker. You could put it right into your moisturizer. You could put it into your foundation. It's a beauty elixir. You have to look it up for all its wonderful, wonderful benefits. This is what I do on my skin now. I don't wake up without this stuff. I mean, I put this on, I mix it with my foundation, but I do it at soft levels. So I have it on now at a very soft level. I have my Armani foundation over it. So just to give your skin a little bit of a warmth and a glow, that is a great way to do it. So mix it with a tiny bit of bronzer. Then, the other thing you can do, if you're someone who really tends to wear a little bit more of a, um, a heavier makeup, maybe we want to soften it. And the best way to soften it, I love using a great hydrating mist during the course of the day. This is one that I do use. It's from Kiehl's, another brand that I'm obsessed with. I love. I've used it for years. This is their, uh, <laughs> hold on. This is their Cactus Flower and Tibetan Ginseng Hydrating Mist. It's a refreshing facial mist to purify and hydrate, which it does. I use it at the Beautiful Self Offices because it's just wonderful and it feels great. Plus, it also is hydrating the skin. Great way to make your skin look fresh rather than dull through the course of the day without making it look heavy. So I highly recommend these two. The other thing that I want you to do is the skin should have a beautiful powdered look to it without looking powdery. So like I said before, sheer and beautiful. Let's see those freckles. Let's see sheer skin. You get that red lipstick on, bam, gorgeous. Or we get a soft, beautiful, elegant, glamorous look to the skin without it being overdone. I love Armani Luminous Silk. That's my choice for powder. But if you have a soft, light powder at home that you love, make sure it's light. Don't use any powder. Get a nice, soft, fluffy brush that isn't overly fluffy. It needs to kind of be not, not tight like a, a brush blush, but in, in between the two. So what I want you to do, just a little bit, when you're done, so I, I mixed, I already did my little bronzer, I already did my foundation, just a little bit, 
clean and sophisticated, not high shine. Remember that, unless you're going for a really, really sheer all the way look. Then you can hydrate it through the course of the day. So remember that for your skin, either sheer or either beautifully and softly powdered. Over powdering, you're gonna get a caricature. You know, I know you're trying to get that Marilyn Monroe look, which is fabulous, but we wanna update the look. We don't wanna copy the look exactly. So now, let's get into my favorite reds. Now, just like last time, I picked the reds. I have so many notes. Because I can't stay on track, okay? I'm done, I'm done with my notes. I have so many here. So. I picked my favorite reds based on the reds that I use all the time um, on the women that we do at Beautiful Self or on myself when I do wear a red, which is not too often, or when I'm at a photo shoot. So let's get right into it. Number one, really these are no order. I just listed them this way. This is Coco Noir. It's by Julie Hewitt. I love this color. Julie Hewitt is a phenomenal Hollywood makeup artist. I met her backstage. She is absolutely incredible. You can look her up, look at her product. She's the queen of reds. Look at that, that's what I'm wearing. That's a Hollywood red. That is a true walk down. Can you get it there, director back there telling me to lower? Is that okay? Okay, here we go. Comes like this, great packaging. It's a matte satin and it's a true beautiful classic Hollywood red. That's the one I love. Then again, now we've got Besame. I love Besame. For those of you who haven't seen Besame, Besame is actually a brand so smart, so genius. They make modern but exact color replicas of popular lipsticks from each era. So this one right here is called Red Velvet. It is a gorgeous cherry red, and it's a replica from, some, from a color from 1956. Um, gorgeous. Can you see that? Look at that. Red velvet. You can see the difference between the top one and the bottom one. One is more of a matte, deeper red. The other one is more of a cherry red. We're going to list this all at the bottom, so don't worry. And I chose these reds, by the way, for their pigment, for the way they look on the lip, and for their ability to go from the fairest of the fair to the deepest of the deep, every color in between that looks absolutely stunning. So I kind of went red shopping for you. This one is called American Beauty. This is also Besame. And Besame, again, so this one that I showed you up here, I love this one because I imagine Rita Hayworth whipping this on and going out the door. And I am a golden age of Hollywood kind of gal, so I love these colors. Uh, then the next one is called American Beauty. It's a replica of a color from 1945. Look at this one. This is really like a pop. It's a pink red. It's what we call a pink red. It's got more of a pink base than anything else, but the red comes through. I look at that one. Again, that one's from 1945. I see Judy Garland. I see Jean Tierney. Uh, the glamour girls of the 40s loved these colors. So, next one. Um, I know most of you have heard of the next one. To me, it's an all-star red. It should be in the Hall of Fame of reds, and it's Max Russian Red. Russian Red is just this beautiful true true red it does have blue in it but look at this and it's a little bit more of a matte formula russian red if you're not sure what to do russian red is a great choice all lower is that good i get my instructions from the back <laughs> okay perfect here we go russian red another one of my favorites from MAC that should be in the All-Stars Hall of Fame for red lipsticks is Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo is a beautiful, it's, it's really a pink red. It's more pink than red, but it's absolutely stunning. So, it's a matte. Take a look at this. It's a matte pink, but that has tons of red in it. It's great if you want a matte color. It's great if you don't want like a true, true, true hard red and you want to lean on a little something pink. Ruby Woo is stunning. Hopefully you saw that. But again, we'll list them at the end. This one, this one is from Laura Geller. So when I was leaving Laura Geller on my last day, I loaded up on this one. I was like, I love this color. Hopefully they still make it. It's called Clove Red. It is a brown red for all my 90s girls out there. It's got some pink in, in it, but take a look. It's right under the Ruby Woo. It's got a lot of brown in it. It's, it's a little more sateen. It's not very heavy. It's really, really beautiful. Okay. Then 
from my, I will not leave out my vamp girls. So this again is a Bessemer color. It's called Noir Red. It's not really a red, it's a vamp. It's very, it's, I didn't get the date on this one. It's from Bessemer, but I think it's from the 30s. I'll have to look. You just go to their website and, and you'll find so much stuff and the information. Everybody loves a burgundy vamp. And it, it, honestly, they're sexy, but they're for a look. But I wanted to add it in because vamp is another all-star. I, now, when I see these colors, I think, oh, I love Jean Harlow, and I just imagine her wearing this. See that? It's like a dark, plum, sassy girl color. It does have some red in it, but it's mostly a deep, deep, deep black plum, which is beautiful. And really, all these colors go, everything here, and just wear a red lip liner, or you can wear a plum lip liner. You can change it around with whatever lip liner you like. I just don't like to go too dark on the lip liner because I think what happens then is it's, I don't know, it just becomes very hardcore. So tend, try to tend to match your lip liner with it. Uh, so these are the different tones that I chose that I think will go gorgeous on any skin tone. But even more importantly, with all these textures of the season, the velvets, the fringe, the suede, the feathers, the fringe again, it's all about that for the season. So you really wanna match it up with your lip. That's a great way if you, uh, of either matching your reds or trying something different if you don't have a lot of red in your wardrobe. Now, you're probably saying, why didn't I choose orange red? I have one orange red here. You know, orange red can be very difficult for a lot of women to wear. I also think orange red is a great color for spring. I am not a person that goes by season. I'm not trying to be dated and say that, oh, wear this by the season. I just think via texture that orange uh, orange reds kind of play off a little bit more of a spring summer vibe but if you're somebody that loves orange red i did find one it's an oldie but a goodie it's a revlon red and it's called number 654 take a look at that that's a great orange red it's got tons of orange in it if you're someone that likes orange red it's number 654 from revlon but if not all the way around these reds are my favorite favorite choices other thing I want to show you, it wouldn't be um, a beautiful self-beauty break without me speaking directly to any of my sisters that are going through chemo right now or any woman going through adversity with her skin. So what I wanted to do is say a lot of times when you don't feel so good about yourself or how your skin might be looking, you know you need to pick me up, but you don't want to commit to full color. I can tell you personally, I know when I was going through chemo three years ago, I didn't want to commit to full on red. I just felt like it was a lot. Trust me, I put on my makeup every day, but I wanted to lift my skin. So, and I still do this now because I don't always want to commit to a full on red. So I have a great trick that you can do if your skin is going through chemo, if you're going through adversity. What I want you to do is, if you are fair skin, get a nice deep nude beige. If you're deeper skin, get a nice brown or dark plum lip liner. I want you to fill in your whole lip. Fill in your whole lip with the lip liner. Doing this now, I'm just using a nice beige. <laughs> I didn't make it big enough, sorry. Then I want you to get a beautiful ruby or a red colored balm or stain. I'm going with this one today. This is Julie Hewitt. Again, I like to feel pretty and good about myself when I'm pulling out a lip color. So I love everything about the packaging. I love everything about this. This is a bomb. It is a sheer bomb and it's called Camilla Ruby. And it's a beautiful kind of ready pink. And I'm gonna put that right over the lip liner. So what do I get? I get this beautiful pinky soft red that doesn't commit to a full on red. The other thing you can do if you want, if you're like, no, Jillian, I want to do more of a red. Don't want to full commit, but I want to do more than that. Just take a red that you love, blot it down, and mix a balm over it. It'll soften the whole look for you, and it'll lift your skin, and it'll be absolutely gorgeous. So remember, keep that skin soft. A little bit of powder. Keep it really beautiful and elegant. Think Think modern when you're putting on that powder. I don't want you to think too Marilyn. Keep the skin sheer. Do something, maybe a hydrating mist. Use a little bit of something that has a little bit of a bronze tone to it, but is nice and clean on the skin. And it'll do something good as far as ingredients go to get that skin nice and healthy. So keep the skin beautiful. Have fun with your reds. The beauty about red is that you don't have to wear a lot of other makeup. So I'm not 
you know, as heavy as I am with my normally with my black eye makeup. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much as always for stopping by. We so appreciate it. I want your comments. I want to hear what you have to say. Maybe you have some reds you want me to see. And we will be back next week. Let us know what you want us to do. I was probably going to do a tutorial next time, like a start to finish. You let me know. Thank you so much for stopping by again. We love you guys. Yay. And have an amazing day. Bye.